Good evening. It may surprise you, but the best-selling vehicle in the country isn't a minivan or an SUV. It's a truck. The Ford F-150 outsells every other car, SUV, or truck on the road. But how safe is the F-150 if you get into a collision? The answer? Much better than it was two and a half years ago, when Dateline first told you it had failed this important crash test. It was after our broadcast that Ford announced it would beef up the safety of its popular pickup. The power of the press, an example of what we call the Dateline difference. Here's Chief Consumer Correspondent Lee Thompson with more. It's marketed as Ford Tough. But as Dateline first showed you two and a half years ago when the Ford F-150 truck was pitted against a 320,000 pound barrier in this 40 mile an hour test, it failed miserably. I mean, there is no space left for the dummy. Brian O'Neill runs the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, a nonprofit research group funded by automobile insurance companies. Its goal is to reduce claim costs. In 2001, O'Neill told us the F-150 was one of the worst vehicles he'd ever seen in the test facility. This is as bad as it gets in terms of crash performance. Look at the collapse wow. of the compartment. That is not a safety cage. The Ford F-150 got the Institute's lowest rating, a core, and O'Neill cautioned against buying it. I wouldn't put my family, my wife, or myself in a vehicle like this. Ford says even though the F-150 already met federal safety standards, it was redesigning the F-150 when that crash took place. And it turned to designer Frank Davis to make it safer. We put a lot of work into the chassis and into the body structure. So now the front of the frame is engineered to collapse if the truck is hit off center. If you want to use this section of the frame rail to crash or give in to absorb the energy of, of the crash. Other parts are designed to break away, absorbing more energy before the crush reaches you. And as you can see, when the F-150's underbody is flipped upside down, those brightly painted parts, colored for this demonstration, have either been added or beefed up. We've added high strength steel, which is about two and a half times stronger than regular steel. And all of these new green, yellow, and red pieces make it tougher. It's the key of, of how you don't let the intrusion come into the passenger compartment. The new F-150 hit dealers lots last summer, and Ford asked the Insurance Institute to test the new model. There is virtually no intrusion into the occupant compartment. Someone experiencing an event like our offset crash could walk away, probably with Nothing but scratches at the worst. And when you look at the old and the new together? This is the old F-150 on the top. We recorded very high forces on the dummy's head and neck, the kind of forces that could lead to a fatal injury if a person experienced them. In contrast, when we look at the new F-150, the structure holds together. We've gone from very, very poor performance to very, very good performance. The new F-150 gets the Institute's top honors, a rating of good and a best pick. But wait, before you head out to buy a 2004 F-150, there's something you should know. Ford is still making and selling the old style F-150. Same old body, same old frame, and same old poor rating from the Insurance Institute. Only the name has changed. Sort of. Now it's called the 2004 F-150 Heritage. The question we want to have answered is why? So we came to the Motor City to ask Ford that question. Why is it continuing to make the poorly rated old Ford F-150 when it now has a much safer truck for people to buy? The Insurance Institute gave the old F-150 the worst rating it could, a poor says it's one of the worst vehicles on the road. The F-150 Heritage has historically performed exceptionally well um, in a number of aspects of safety. We also have a tremendous amount of real world data that shows F-150 to be one of the safest full-size pickups on the road. Ford Motors Doug Scott says the Institute's off-center test is just one measure of safety and the old F-150 did very well in the government's front and side impact crash tests. And all safety testing aside, a lot of truck buyers just plain like the old F-150 better. 
This truck has earned five star, the highest rating available. But even so, the F-150 Heritage will be discontinued next June. O'Neill says the new model, even with its higher price of two to six hundred dollars more than the Heritage, is the only one people should buy. And only one truck earned the right to be the next F-150. There is a very good, a very safe F-150 as a replacement. Uh, it just doesn't make sense to choose the old F-150 when this new one is now available. The F-150 may be a best pick in the Insurance Institute's high-speed crash test, but in a five-mile-per-hour test of its bumpers, it gets a rating of poor. Ford points out those bumper tests only reflect repair costs and have nothing to do with the truck's safety.